welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about my must-have beauty products for spring. As the weather changes, your makeup wardrobe kind of tweaks a little bit. So let's go ahead and start off with face products. The first thing I think you need for your face is a good moisturizer with SPF. My favorite one is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer. This one has SPF 15, but they also have one with SPF 30. The sun might not be at full blast yet, but you still want to give a little protection for your face if you're going to be out in the sun at all. So a good hydrating moisturizer with SPF. Next, I also think you need a good facial refreshing spray. This is MAC Fix Plus. I love this. I'm almost out. I'm down to the bottom. I've had this for almost a year and it's still going strong, but this is great during the day just to refresh your face, spray it on. It makes your face feel better and just keep you hydrated throughout the day. So I think for spring and rolling into summer, a face refresher is ideal. Another spring must-have is some kind of self-tanner or something to just really make your skin look amazing. So one of my favorites is the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs. This stuff is awesome. I love using this when I'm not really that tan because I don't like to lay in the tanning bed really. I like to self-tan, which I still don't really do that that much because I'm kind of lazy. But I love the Airbrush Legs because it's something easy like if you want to wear a dress as it's heating up in the spring but you maybe don't want to tan, you can use this all over your body. I usually mix a little bit of lotion in this in my hand and it looks amazing and it's more of a brown tan versus orange so it looks really really natural and I love it and it makes your legs and arms look so good and it makes you look really tan so I'm in the color medium glow but they have two or three shades but I love this stuff now let's move on to some makeup. I think everyone needs some kind of light or dewy foundation or a BB cream. Now even if you get oily, just go for something that's lighter than maybe your full coverage or really matte foundations because as the weather heats up, it's more about less makeup. Less is more. So you don't want to have that full coverage, maybe matte face that you had in the winter. Go for a more dewy and healthy look to your skin. I love the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. This stuff is amazing. If you do get really oily, try the L'Oreal True Match Original. That one's a little bit more matte, at least on me. I have reviews of both of these on my channel, but I love this and it makes your skin glowy and dewy and it's great for summer and spring because it looks effortless. Now my favorite BB cream is the Smashbox Ready BB cream. I also have a review of this on my channel. I will link them down below. It's so light and it really lets your natural skin shine through. And if you're using something lighter, it might not be clogging your pores as much, so your skin might actually clear up. For the eyes, keep it light, keep it fresh, keep it glowy, and natural. I love the Maybelline paint pots. I think these are great to put all over the lid. Put some eyeliner mascara if you want and walk out the door. This color is bad to the bronze and it is so so gorgeous. Put this all over the lid and you're good to go and you look like you tried. So I definitely recommend trying something light that's going to last all day and look fresh on the eyelids. Next thing that's a must have for spring is some kind of bronzer. This is the Chanel Soleil Tande Chanel and this is one of my favorite natural looking bronzers and it works on almost every skin tone. This is what it looks like and it's a cream and it looks so natural on the skin. It gives you the most beautiful natural glow. I put it right up here and it just gives you the most skin-like glow. It's not powdery, it's not chalky, it's very natural and it blends like a dream. So any kind of bronzer to give some warmth to your face because as it's spring you're going to hopefully get tanner and the bronzers will help you look tanner and add the color and warmth back to your skin. And who doesn't like a little bit of a golden glow? So I would recommend using a bronzer if you didn't during winter, definitely pull one out for spring. For the cheeks, I recommend trying an orange or coral blush. I love orange and coral for the spring. I think it's so perfect. One of my favorites is Coralista from Benefit. This is a coral blush and it's got a little bit of an orange undertone in it and it's absolutely stunning. This blush also adds a little bit of glow so you can see I have it on with the bronzer and it really adds a subtle glow to the cheeks and it's just absolutely gorgeous. And these are amazing blushes anyway so I definitely recommend trying orange or coral they work on any skin tone. You just have to find the right shade of orange or coral that matches you. Another spring must-have is a liquid highlighter. If you watch me, you know I love to highlight the face, but during the spring, I like liquid highlighters because they're a lot more natural. They don't look frosty, and they really just make your skin glow. My favorite is the MAC Luster Drops. This is in Sunrush. They also have a more champagne color called Pink.
Pink Rebel, I believe, but this one is my favorite, and you can even mix it in with your foundation. So for those of you that get very oily and you think, oh, I can't do a glowy foundation, mix some of this in your matte foundation, and it'll make your skin glow, and it looks so natural. So I like to put this on the cheekbones, down the nose, and on the chin, and it just brings your skin to life, and I think it's perfect for the springtime. What would this video be without me recommending some lipsticks? Because you know I love lip products. So I love bright, fun corals, pinks, oranges. I love them for spring. So the first one I'm going to show you is the Maybelline Vivids. This whole collection is amazing. I have almost every color, but one of my favorites is Hot Plum, and this is a really hot purple with a little bit of a pink undertone, and it's gorgeous. I think if you're going to rock a bright lip, do it during spring, do it during summer, and I know some people say they're scared, but you just got to own it and rock that lipstick. And then another thing is I love coral lipsticks. So I love this Corly Pink by MAC. This is in Watch Me Summer. It's more of a pink than a coral, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So bring those bright lipsticks out. They can change your whole look. And there's nothing I love more than a little bit of bronzer, foundation, and mascara, and bright lips. And it looks like you have a lot of makeup on, but it's really just because you have bright lipstick. So keeping on with the bright colors for your nails, bright nail polishes. I love them for spring. This is a baby orange kind of cream school color. This is in the color light orange from Forever 21 and I love their nail polishes. They work really good on me. And then again from them, this is the color pink, but it looks like a corally pink. It's not a straight pink. In person, it looks like a coral, so I love this. And then from Color Club, this is Age of Aquarius. I was wearing it, I believe, in my January favorites, and a lot of people asked. It's the perfect mint. It's so gorgeous. I got this in my birch box, and I love it so, so much. So mints and corals and pinks, I think, are perfect for your nails for the spring. So those are all of my spring must-haves. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I thought it'd be fun to share some things that I'm going to be changing into for spring. Let me know what your spring must-haves are down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.